Food Foundation Awards are often called the Oscars of the food industry, and tomorrow night, seven award-winning chefs will celebrate American cuisine at the Foundation's annual gala event right here in New York. And Chef Alfred Portale of New York's Gotham Bar and Grill restaurant will be among the talented group cooking for the event. How are you? Excellent, Harry. Good, Good to, see you. to see you again. Pleasure. These things really are a big deal. They are. you got a, like a drawer full of these things, uh, right? <laughs> How many do you have? I have four. Harry. Have four. <laughs> I have four. Right. We, uh, it's a very prestigious event, and um, I brought the dish that I'll be serving tomorrow night at the gala. Oh, all right. And, and what is it? Well, we're serving a artichoke ravioli mm -hmm. with wild mushrooms and burgundy truffles. It sounds good to me. Okay. It sounds like a really good th good start. So of course, at, at, at Gotham, we make our own raviolis right. and roll them out. These are filled with artichokes, mm -hmm. um, but I find that this recipe works perfect with ricotta raviolis. Store-bought raviolis, in other words. Even so, these guys, like these that's guys, right. bad this, boys, it, right it here. It works very well. And so, can I ask you a dumb question? Sure. When you, so you make out the dough. Do you put two pieces together to make the ravioli? Yeah, you roll the sheet out. Right. You pipe the filling in. Okay. You, you fold over the other sheet, and then with a cutter, ha, you do that. That is the key, right there. All right, there. so these go into the into some boiling salted water, mm -hmm. and they cook about four minutes. Yeah, not so long because so this long. is fresh dough, right? That's right. All so, right. So next, we're going to make our sauce. Yeah. It's a wild mushroom sauce. We okay. start with a little shallot and garlic. Mm -hmm. Stir that around a little bit. Uh -huh. Now add some mushrooms, Harry. I've, I brought some fancy mushrooms. These are chanterelle mushrooms right. that are in season. Oh, man. Those, oh, are, those are so, they're absolutely pungent. Are called black trumpets. The French call them trumpet de la mort, right. which means trumpet of death, but yeah. we won't go there. <laughs> and these are cauliflower. Now, if I was buying these at the supermarket, yeah. I prefer to use the brown cremini mushrooms. Right. They work very well. Salt, sure. carry, sure. All right. we get pepper. The salt working here. Okay, now, th in order to make this sauce, we want the mushrooms to braise. So right. we're going to add a little bit of rich chicken broth. Wow. This is what I call brown chicken broth, mm -hmm. made with roasting the bones. Right. And then we want to cover the pan so that we they braise slowly, release all their juices, right. and, and create a sauce. Eventually, it comes out. It comes out to like this. Right. You That's know, gorgeous. when the raviolis are cooked, mm -hmm. I lift them out. Right. And um, it, it hold them in a little bit of the pasta liquid. Oh, okay. So you're not going to drain them per se. No, well, drain most of the water. I, I have these are cooked, and I've lifted them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you drain most of the water. Add right. a little olive oil to keep them from sticking. Okay. And then we're going to finish our sauce. So this is the braised mushroom. Right. Um, Can I be so bold? You may. It's not exactly finished. I have a little bit of cooked leek. It smells so good. Yeah, it's right. fantastic. And this is a little bit of carrot. And to mm. enrich the sauce even a little more, we're going to stir in a little bit of butter just to make it nice and rich and creamy. I've added garlic butter because okay. I was wondering after all, all the speckles were in the garlic. Yeah, yeah. After, all right. after all, yeah. now taste it. All right. Now we're talking. Now we're really, this is the deal deal right here? Okay. Oh my God. So simple dish to do at home. Again, using store-bought raviolis. I like this dish with ricotta ravioli. Right. So we'll just plate our raviolis in a nice, warm, deep bowl. Mmm. Aren't these nice? Right. Tomorrow, tomorrow night I'll be, we'll be serving 300 people. <laughs> That's a lot of raviolis, gotta, man. Okay. So, so now here's our sauce. As right. you can see, the, braise, the mushrooms have given off a lot of Beautiful braising liquid. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? I'm not so sure I should even try to eat that. Should it looks so beautiful. God, it smells so great. Right. Okay. All right. All right. I and, can't help myself. <laughs> All right. Now, do you dress these up a little bit? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put a little bit of mm -hmm. of uh, some chives, of chives on it, right? And I have a truffle here, a burgundy truffle, mm. and we're going to shave that over the top, and we're ready to go. A little bit of cheese, yeah. and we're all set. Somebody has to suffer through this, right, Maggie? Oh, can I suffer too? Because the yeah. smell beckons, Chef. How are Hi. you? There Good you to go. see you. Good to see you. Are you ready? You ready? I'm so ready. Yeah. Mm. Uh. How is it? The... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, look. He always feeds me. There Thank you, you go. You ready? Mm. 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 Oh, man. Yummy. Ooh. And we'll good. be serving this with some red, nice red burgundy. Too. That's perfection. There you go. Okay. Albert, as always, what Thank a pleasure. Thank you so much. We Thank will you. see you tomorrow night. Mm. For wow. these recipes, just go to our website. That's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.
Talking about now with great family style meals with your friends can be a wonderful creation. And this weekend, 30 chefs are going to be making them at the James Beard Sunday Supper at Chelsea Market. It's a fundraiser here in New York City. One of the chefs that's going to be there is Craig Koketsu, who is the chef partner at New York's Park Avenue Spring Restaurant. He's making a family style meal for us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So great to have you here. Thank you. First, before we get down to the menu, talk right. a little bit more about the event this weekend. It's a great event. 30 chefs getting together from all across the country to benefit the James Beard Foundation. Which is great. And Fulton Youth for the Future. Uh, which is about getting people, yes. yeah, getting people involved in the food industry. Exactly. And yeah, it's yeah. really great stuff. All right, well, what all right. are we going to make? We're going to get right into this. This is a braised chicken. It's a version of the dish that we're doing on Sunday. Right. Um, the first thing we're going to do is put together a spice mix, and it has a lot of stuff. Wow. Basically, every spice that you could think of with the uh, that begins with the letter C, cinnamon, right. Right. cumin, right. Uh, cloves, <laughs> right. cardamom, <laughs> cayenne. You then, weren't kidding, uh, yes, were you? Turmeric, <laughs> yeah. uh, garlic powder, ginger, and, and paprika. All right. And you can mix that up. All right. And then Very basically, good. after you mix it up, you get something that looks like this. Wow. Um, what you want to do is you want to marinate these in the spice with no salt overnight. Overnight? Yeah, just to really get so the flavor into it. So you would put these it. in here. Exactly, and right? that's what we have here. Oh, right there they are. All right, that looks good. So we so got a hot Overnight, pan. and you would leave those in the fridge then, just yeah, like in that? The, yeah, definitely in the fridge. All right, so now we're talking about braising, and we've got a hot frying pan we got here. a hot pan, and first we're... The first thing you want to do with, with braising is you want to sear the meat and get right. a nice nice color on it. Because so that's gonna, what the braising part is all about, right? Right, right. So we just use what, just kind of a canola oil that's, or something like that? That's canola oil, like yep. an, a flavorless high smoke point oil. Sure, okay, right, because you've got to put some serious heat on these exactly, guys, right? Exactly. So we're going to get color on these, and then what we're going to do after we get the color is we'll toss in our aromatic vegetables. Okay, you flip them first? Or yeah, just, okay. so imagine that we we, uh, we flip these all over. We got some nice color on it. Yeah. All right. And then Even with the temperatures we have outside, <laughs> we are getting a little heat on this frying pan. We're going to... You All can right. just toss those in, those uh, some carrots, carrots, some onions. Some onions. We're going to take some garlic, and we, just with the bottom of our hand, we're going to just smash it in. Oh, and I put like it that. Yeah. That is a nice technique, yeah. right? It really sort of opens it up and yeah. lets the flavor come out. Because if you just threw it in there, you wouldn't get too much bang for the buck from right. That, right, exactly. And what are these? That's ginger. Ginger. And then we have some honey here. Oh, wow. So we're going to saute this, basically. Right. And then we'll add the honey, and I think I have a spatula right there for That's you. That's always helpful. And after the honey... What's After over, the honey, we have a tomato and some chicken stock. And then wow. this goes in the oven, like mm -hmm. a 350 degree oven, right. and you cover it for about an hour. All right. And after an hour, it comes out like. It comes out like mm, this. Take a look at that. <laughs> you see that? That is really, really good looking. Yeah. They, oh, they look man. delicious. Okay, so the beauty of braising is that yeah. you. You not only get a beautiful protein out of right. it, you also get a beautiful sauce. Yeah, because, oh, I, mean, I have to confess, during the commercial, I've been dipping in this, right. and it is really it's, gorgeous It's stuff. really gorgeous and yeah. rich and, and, and hearty. Right. And it's perfect for a, a spring day like today. Yeah. <laughs> so now now this is the sauce, this is this reduced? Exactly. Okay. So what, what we do is we strain this through a, uh -huh. a strainer and then sure. just let it reduce. We let it reduce just over the stove, just heat it up a little bit. It's going to come down. Exactly. It's really going to get glorious yeah. like this. See how it's coating that and oh. making it really nice and shiny and glazed? And this is perfect. What are we going to put it on? We're going to put it on a bed of couscous. Yeah. And you can see they're, they're just gorgeous. And you know what? This is such a great family kind of a thing. Because exactly. it's not so intensive in terms of preparation Well, the stuff, thing right? about... The thing about cooking for like large groups of people is you want to get together with them. You want to, it's a time to enjoy commune, exactly and, right and enjoy people's company. All right, now what are you going to garnish this with? Then? Um, so we're going to get, grate some ricotta salada, which is just oh, okay. basically a dried ricotta cheese. Yeah. Okay. We have some Sicilian pistachios. Oh, those are gorgeous. They're beautiful. If you can't get Sicilian pistachios where you are, you could just use regular pistachios. It's fine. How's that? So we're going to sprinkle that on yep. right on top. Yeah. We have some mint. Mm, nice. And some scallions. All right. I think we got it. And that's it. That is gorgeous. What do you think, kids? <laughs> oh. And serve it with uh, some little latkes. Yes, these are uh, these are latkes, right in time for Passover. Right. Um, we serve it at the restaurant with some uh, rhubarb puree and some creme fraiche. Oh, man. 
And what are these beauty dishes down here? Those are, um, this is, these are really great dishes for families uh, because you could do them in large batches. Right. That's flash seared Swiss chard wow. with uh, citrus. And beets down there. Crumbs, and beets with passion fruit and almonds. Chef Craig Koketsu, we're gonna taste this food when we come back right after this. Good job. Awesome. Celebrated master chef Charlie, pa Charlie Palmer is back with us this morning, and he's making something really big mm. and really good <laughs> for the holidays. Absolutely, and when it comes to some classic winter vegetables on the side, too. Charlie, side good morning. Good morning, good morning. Look well, at this hunk of meat you yeah, have here. Right. When the snow starts to fall, we pull out the big stuff. <laughs> 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 That's what you call comfort food. Yeah, heavy yeah. weapons. And this is our this is our four bone rib roast. Wow. You know, and I tell people when they're buying a rib roast, mm -hmm. you know, depending on how much they need, you know, always get a little extra. It's great for sandwiches, you know. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Do, can you go work those leftovers? How many yeah, people you think this too. is going to feed? Well, this could you know anywhere from you know six, eight, even ten. Depends on how big a meat you know meat or, eaters are in a family. Or two or two <laughs> guys like us two. But we got something interesting. We have a little. This is bourbon pepper, and this is this is. Pepper that's been smoked and aged in bourbon barrels, so it has a really interesting flavor. Oh my! You know, and smokiness yeah. to it. Oh my God, <laughs> Debbie, you have to smell this. Smell. A little, little, smell here. little toxic. Behind. Little toxic. Whoa! Wow! No, it's it's got a really great flavor. Oh! When wow. you're when you're yeah. seasoning up, you got to remember, you know, over season actually yeah. with everything because you're going to lose a lot of that in the roasting process. As and you kinda... almost can't put enough salt on. Yeah, it. No, exactly. Because <laughs> look, I mean, the, the the thickness of the meat. So, yeah. You know. You get that you get that baby and then you get it right in the oven. We're gonna right. switch one out. We're gonna switch it out. Magic of television. Yeah, yeah we'll yeah, all right. Uh, now, did you, know you score you know the what? fat we can that's put the on big there? One up here. 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 Up top. All right. Uh -oh. Very good, very good. A very nice good. hot. Watch oven. Out. All right. And then you get the here, here, here you go. Here. I got you. I got you covered. Harry's gonna do it, man. He's, you know, uh, Harry gets all excited. Here, right there, right there, right there. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's one. We've had a little uh, action going on, roasting action. How long does that go? We're gonna let that rest just a second. We'll talk about our gratin. Right. But this is, you know, depending how, you know, you want a internal temperature, so mm -hmm. always have a thermometer. Yeah. Because depending on the size. Yeah. We got one, one of these bad boys. This really works. Yeah, very accurate. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And you want it to reach 160 on the inside? No, or? no, no. You want about a 130, 130. for like medium okay. rare, you know, right. that kind of thing. So and it's not like it carries over. Thanksgiving turkey. But then what we do, we got some root vegetables today, and here. This is a, a potato turnip gratin. Right. We got our potatoes and our turnips here. Right. Our, and what this is is just layered in the pan. Sure. So we just take, layer our things. We got some caramelized onions, mm -hmm. bacon. You want to grab that bacon? Sure. Yeah. Come on, Debbie. Put it in there. Are we ready? Just sprinkle a little on there. Okay. Go ahead. I'm a so little intimidated because it's Charlie. No, <laughs> no, no, don't be intimidated. How much bacon? Because I say the more the better. The more the better. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right. Little fresh thyme. We got a little bit of uh, our caramelized onion in here, mm -hmm. so we just take that, kind of just sprinkle some around. And you just keep doing layers. And Charlie? you just do layers. Okay. You know? We're gonna cut into that. We'll, sh we'll, we'll show everybody. Look at that. But it's got you know no cream in this one. You know we just use a little chicken stock, uh -huh. and that's actually what cooks. We keep our layers going like this. Mm. You know, so always seasoning in between a mm -hmm. little bit, you know, not too crazy. Totally rocking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what is that crazy stuff down there? And this is the cardoon. Cardoons are something that's, it's kind of a lost vegetable, I tell people. And it's kind of like a celery on steroids. No. Kind of thing. Yeah. But these are just fried cardoons. You know, we have in front here just, just cooked crispy, oh. fried with a little bit of a uh, Reggiano Parmesan shaved on top. Where do you find this? Because I don't see these in my you can grocery get them in, store. Yeah, you can get them in like a Whole Foods market. You'll okay, so you need to go to like a premium store. Especially this time of year store. when the root vegetables start to come in. You know? What does it okay. taste like? Yeah, kind of celery oh, kind of thing. Yeah. And then you got a little rutabaga flan over here. What? You know, rutabagas, people don't know, like the big yeah. rutabaga. Right. Got our turnip potato. Mm -hmm. you know, let's just cut our, grab this our This is nice. Right do you like the cardoon, Harry? I do. Huh? Yeah, it's nice. different, really different. Let's see what yeah. we got here. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, baby, huh? That's what I'm talking about, right there. What did Tom, Tiny Tim huh? say? God bless us, everyone. A little, <laughs> oh and my. A little, a little sea salt just to bring out the flavor. But that's, wow. uh, 
That's a rib roast. That Tony. makes you want to slap your mom. Is that for one or for two? There's a fork. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, you never heard that expression? <laughs> make you want to slap your mama? No. That means wow. the food looks really good. <laughs> Are you working or work resting for Christmas? Uh, a little both. A little, a little bit both. of both. Wow, I'll tell you what. Charlie Palmer, uh, thank you so much. Happy Christmas to you. Great to see you. Really appreciate it. Thank you. you can find these recipes like on it? our website. Uh, interesting. That's right. earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Isn't that great? I like Something putting the knife down. Yeah. <laughs> you you guys have a great here, weekend. Here. Don't forget to watch the Saturday Early Show tomorrow. Your local news is next. Good job. Right, look at that.